see you all here. After the meeting on the 3rd of March where we had the overflowing room for those of you who were there at the Louis Joel Centre, we wondered, well, how many people are going to turn up tonight and there are more here tonight? So it's obviously an issue that people feel very passionate about. I'd like to start by thanking the group of residents who have been organising tonight's meeting um, for all of their hard work um, organising it and promoting it. Kirkman, Adam Hills, um, Pam Hudson, Jacks and Damien Saunders. So you'll have a chance to... Thank you to Dow Green's MLC Colleen Hartland for her efforts in organising and hosting the meeting tonight. <laughs> so the meeting will of service through the Altona Loop. Um, be providing a, a, lo a local forum for a campaign to do that, to have coordinated public transport services and to keep campaigning until we win. So that's why you're all here tonight. Um, some guests that we've got here tonight, I've already mentioned we've got Colleen Hartland. We've got the Labor MP for Williamstown, Wade Noonan, and the Labor MP for Altona, Jill Hennessy. We've got Cobson's Bay, she certainly said she was coming. Um, any other special guests in the room that I need to note of those? I mean, we've got... We've got apologies from Liberal MLC Bernie Finn and from Julie Hillstein from the Louis Joel Centre and, and from the Mayor Michael Rippall. We've got some special guests tonight from the Department of Transport and Metro who are going to be speaking to us. We've got the CEO of Metro from Metro and Norman Gray from the Department of Transport. So, okay, so kicking off. So the overview of what we're going to be doing tonight, specifically we're here tonight to be talking about the services through the Altona train loop. We've asked the, um, the Department of Transport and Metro to focus on Altona and we want also in your discussion, and um, in the, we're going to have plenty of time for questions and discussion, to focus on the Altona... If there's more, if there's as many services in the peak period and if there's a, uh, a, a 20 minute service up to 10.30 at night instead of a, a, a 30 minute service, there are improvements. The other benefits will be that at the moment, unfortunately, when, when the service disruption is very great, often trains that should come through Altona go straight to Laverton. Yeah. <laughs> My question revolves around the fact that I can understand that it's very difficult to cross or to, to have trains going in two different directions on one track and they have to allow for whatever's happening there chair. That is a difficulty and that's why we have such a disruptive service at the moment when things come and go at all sorts of times. We're used to that, we laugh about it, it's frustrating sometimes. But we're third on the performance ladder, so we're third bottom on the performance of success is in somewhere in the 70s hour line. So if you remove our line, I think that's going to improve your overall performance. So that's one of the ways that the overall performance will be improved by removing the Altona loop from those figures and just running a shuttle train backwards and forwards. And quite frankly, if I wanted to go on a shuttle train backwards and forwards, I'd go to Belgrade and go on Putney Hill. <laughs> Six of 60 minutes on three different trains. Yes. Yes. Furthermore, you mentioned that we're going to have 25 million more cars in Melbourne. By removing services from the western suburbs where there's a lot of population growth, you encourage people to use their cars, resulting in less service on Metro. As a result of this, this justifies you further neglecting our station. <laughs> entire network and I have to make the changes to do that and this is this is one step and, and it will make a big difference and, and I have no alternative really than to continue to make the improvements that the network needs to make it reliable and make it carry more people but my predecessors in, uh, that ran it before, before uh, me and my team were running it didn't address some of those issues quickly enough and they got in trouble and we're trying to get it out of trouble and we're trying to make it reliable and that it would be far better if I go to Dublin to avoid the new port, you know, to try and get a seat. 